Wait, so Mindy, how often do you go to that club? Like once every two weeks. Wow, you're there once every week? Two weeks. No way, you go and you go and you pull an all-nighter like this? No. And I'm not there once every two weeks. It's more like once every three weeks. I'm a big fan of nourishment. Nourishment is very important. So I'm running good morning. He's gonna ask me flat out, did you guys stay up all night? No. What? Yes. Did you stay out all night? Yes. He's gonna think I'm crazy. There's no such thing as normal. Thank you. Anything to drink? Uh, coffee? Oh, what is that? The phrase normal is a cycle on the washing machine. If you're really authentic, I think, and you really like don't hold that much inside, then everybody's got a little crazy in them. A lot of people just are afraid of that element in themselves, so they don't want to express it. But if you express it, then you 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 you're very like free, and you're just you're just you're yourself, you know. But then you're gonna be judged somewhat by people who makes them uncomfortable. If you're like too. You. Like when Nina was talking, basically, you know, so I could feel this like anger well up in me, which was, I think, like the immature side of me. Here we are, <laughs> one ten in the afternoon. <laughs> Don't want to get out of bed. Oh, yeah, so man, you had a good night. so far for me personally that I can do to an extreme. So on the flip side of all that, there is definitely a spiritual element to movement and dancing, which it's not only about leaving your head and leaving your body and like going to this la la land and escaping. There's a definite correlation between dancing and like spiritual joy. I just never learned that like music and dancing is like like a fundamental. Well, well my father's a lady. Your father's a lady? Yeah, Levium uh, were they had a lot to do with song and dance. What do you like about music? What do I like about music? It's it's, it's, um, it's like water for the soul. I really am sort of like a hippie at heart. I mean, like my inner. You know, I really am. I, I, that's like my roots. But, you know, things change when you're living in, um, Muncie. Uh, what, what they used to say, um, uh, Babylon. Babylon? <laughs> Babylon. Yeah, boom, I'm, I'm boom, asking you a question boom. now. I know, no, the best part was definitely hanging out with you guys. Wait, 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 what, the what? <laughs> the what? The best part was definitely hanging out with you guys, but it's that moment when you're talking about that boom, 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 and you're just like totally <laughs> one with God. Like, that's my, that's my high. So what is it that you like about music? Like, how do you, like, when you're at the club and you're dancing, like, how do you feel? Free. But like, 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 like Sim was saying before. It, it, because it, it's, it's like, it's a moment of not, um, not being in my head. It's just, you know, maybe, maybe for some people, like, connecting with the source of that thing that makes you feel like you're free, almost like free of your body and free of your head. You're kind of like, you're just, you're so... You're not, you're not in your head, you know, 
you're you're outside. Where are you? You're you're I guess you're in your body because you're like feeling the music and you're dancing. Um, but you're you're almost out of your body. It's like an out of body experience. Your body is the vessel that's like really relating to this thing called music and like really getting into it. <laughs> to figure out how to channel that or find different channels, you know, however you want to phrase it, of being able to achieve that. Can you just tell me what about how music makes you feel? I, I don't know. I love it, all right? I don't know if I have a favorite song, but there are certain songs that when I hear, I vividly remember no, I like what I was doing. I really doing. don't care. I just don't want everybody to stop the action because of me. You know the song Freebird? Is that like from the 70s? If I leave here tomorrow, I want, yeah, yeah, yeah. will you still remember me? And every time I hear that soul, I remember that, that moment, like when I was like, it was a summer day, the windows were down, and like I'm coming home, starting something fresh, something new, like breaking away from where I was. The music that moves me, that I like, that I listen to, is a very personal choice. So how is it that my very personal choice connects with millions of other people's? personal choices. I'm a Beatles fan. Why is it that the way the Beatles sort of hit me and strike me also affects tens of millions of people? I have had that moment because whatever it's doing, I can't verbalize it. Yeah. First of all, the message like about music being something that people use to connect to some sort of spiritual source or whatever. <laughs> Don't have to agree to that, right? I mean, look at Mindy, look at her, yeah, she's one with the universe. Love, let them win. Love the great plan. Yeah. Maybe Tracy Chapman, yeah. Fleetwood Mac, uh, of course, Pink Floyd. Love Tom Petty. I love Stevie Nicks. I'm like madly in love with Stevie Nicks, actually. It's all good. It's my only It's my only what? what you're talking about? What? I had a boom. What? what? Go back to the boom, boom, boom. I like the acapella, and then suddenly, and then there was there was no a water. drought. I'm just there was a drought. Yeah, we, and then we had to move to Egypt for forty years. I do think that the most beautiful song in the English language is "You'll Never Walk Alone." Walk on, walk on with hope, hope in your heart, heart, and you'll, you'll never walk, walk alone. alone. Jimi Hendrix is your favorite. Really? Do you know the song, um, With the power of soul, anything is impossible. You know that one?